So you've spent too long in the sun and you've developed sunburn. Your skin might feel hot to touch, sore, painful, and after a few days it might begin to flake or peel. If the sunburn is severe, it might even start to blister. In this video, we're going to cover five top tips for what to do to manage this at home and five things that you should avoid doing. So what should you do? Well, number one, get out of the sun as soon as possible. The longer you spend in the sun, the worse that the sunburn will be. Number two, as soon as you're inside and out of the sun, try to cool your skin with a cold shower, bath, or damp towel. Now, if it's a baby or young child who's sunburned, try not to let them get too cold because they can't regulate their body temperature as well as adults. As soon as you get out of the shower or bath, gently pat yourself or your child dry, but leave a little bit of water on the skin. Then apply a moisturiser to help trap the water in your skin. This can help ease the dryness. Once you've done this, apply after sun's cream or spray. Typically the best ones for this are ones that contain aloe vera, which has got a compound called alanine, which helps to reduce inflammation. Number three, drink plenty of water to cool down and prevent dehydration. The reason for this is that sunburn draws fluid to the skin surface and away from the rest of the body. Now drinking extra water when you sunburn helps to prevent dehydration. Number four, if you're in a lot of pain, you could consider taking the over-counter painkillers like paracetamol, in the US known as Tylenol, or ibuprofen. But remember, always read the instructions on the medication packet before taking them, including any possible side effects. And number five, cover sunburnt skin from direct sunlight until the skin has fully healed. Don't be tempted to go back out into the sun the next day. Now, tightly woven fabrics work best. What I mean by this is that when you hold up the fabric to a bright light, you shouldn't see any light coming through. So now we've covered these five things that you should be doing, well, what shouldn't you do? Well, first of all, don't use petroleum jelly, so things like Vaseline on sunburnt skin. The reason for this is that these can block pores so that heat and sweat can't escape, meaning that you still feel hot and it can also lead to infection if the pores are still blocked. Number two, don't put ice or ice packs on sunburnt skin. Now you might think that this would help, but it can actually make matters worse by causing intense vasoconstriction, which is where blood vessels narrow sharply and they cut off the local blood supply to already damaged skin. The third is don't pop any blisters. Again, this can lead to infection. Fourthly, don't scratch or try to remove peeling skin because this will just irritate things further. And finally, don't wear tight fitting clothes over sunburnt skin. This is just going to be really painful. I can't stress enough that taking precautions against getting sunburn is so important because even one episode of bad sunburn can increase your risk of skin cancer in the future. So remember to always use high SPF sunscreen, cover up with long sleeves, Leaves, sunglasses and headgear and don't forget about the tops of your ears, the back of your neck and the tops of your feet when you're applying the sunscreen. If you want to learn more check out the references and resources in the description box of this video and remember stay safe, stay smart and if in doubt stay out of the sun especially between peak hours at 10am and 3pm.